Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we got a Pac-10 showdown as the Portland State Vikings travel to take on the San Diego Toreros. Portland State 4-3 on the season, San Diego 4-4. Four four. Both teams still in contention for the Pac-10 title. Take a look at the roster for the Vikings. They have some pretty decent players on their squad. Some nice receivers, good linebacker, nice cornerback Avery Ewing. He's only got one pick on the year, but he's got nine deflections. Another good receiver here, Matt Alford, two touchdowns on the season. Their left tackle's pretty good. He's only allowed two sacks. And Lucas Burton has been outstanding at quarterback, even with that 68 overall. Taking a look at the Vikings' schedule, they lost their first game, then they won one, lost another one, won one. So they're kind of just going back and forth with wins and losses. They beat UC Davis in a shocking upset by two touchdowns. And Cal Poly beat them by two scores. Then they won two straight. And now we're here. In San Diego, California, Portland State is fourth in the Pac-10 currently. San Diego, number two at four and one. Of course, Cal Poly with the upset loss to Northern Colorado drops to four and one. So it's a three-way tie currently for the Pac-10 title. I got the Toreros winning this one today. We'll see what the guys think about that. And I'll see you guys down on the field here in just a moment. football weather here for today's matchup between the Portland State Vikings and the home team. These two Pac-10 teams are fired up and ready to go in this late season battle. And here comes the home team. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Portland State needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. i got to go with the Vikings. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's have the field where today's captains are ready for the coin talk. No love for the Toreros. That's kind of surprising. They have a pretty stout defense this year, and they've shown that. And there they go, showing it again. Luke Moss on the interception, first play of the game. That'll be his fourth interception on the year. And he has been an absolute beast. He also has 32 tackles, 11 for a loss, two sacks, five, uh, nine pass deflections, and two forced or er, fumble recoveries. My goodness, I can't speak. Robbie Ballard, left side with the carry. First down already. And the Toreros off to a fantastic start. They are apparently the underdogs in this game. Robbie Ballard gets another first down up to the six-yard line. First and goal. A minute into the game, Robbie Ballard's going to punch his ticket into the end zone for the score. And the Toreros on top over the 4-3 and three Portland State Vikings. So again, the Toreros coming out hot. Starting off with some great plays. And now we have Luke Moss with a nice tackle for a loss. He's had two plays so far, and they've both been great. Right side, pass is almost intercepted again. Nice deflection. Third and ten now for the Toreros as the Vikings went three and out. Robbie Ballard on the option. Goes left side. He'll have a first down and more up past the 40-yard line of Portland State. Here in sunny San Diego, California. Great weather today. And here is Daryl Ballard finding Demetrius George inside the 10-yard line. That is George's 24th catch on the year. He now has over 500 yards and a touchdown here. That'll give him five on the season with 25 catches. And he's been pretty big for them this year. Coming on strong late. He didn't really have a whole lot of action in the first several weeks. And look at that throw. Almost an interception from Daryl Ballard. That is Ballard's 13th touchdown pass. He also has 21 interceptions and over 1,700 yards. Portland State back on offense. Johnson in the open field. Accelerating past midfield. The 40. Dylan Tong tries to push him out of bounds, and he does all the way at the 30-yard line. Huge play for the Vikings. And they're going to continue to give the ball to Johnson. Left side now, and he'll have 9 or 10 yards close to the marker. And that is Isaac Price with his 25th tackle on the year. Second and inches. Johnson gets the first down. Breaking tackle still going. Hurdles and he's in for the score. An incredible run for the backup halfback. They have a couple Johnsons back there. Pause. I didn't say that. But it's now 14 to 7. Terrero's back on offense. Third down. Daryl Ballard's going to be sacked again. He has been sacked a boatload of times this year. And I kind of feel bad for him. 
as hospital bills are starting to skyrocket. Fourth and 23, the Toreros are going to punt it. Now fourth and 28 after a delay of game. And this punt is very far downfield to the 35-yard line. Red is going to return it. And Brick Wall forces the fumble. And it's recovered by the Toreros. His first career force fumble. Nice play for the left tackle. So the Toreros back on offense. Ballard, deep shot. And that is incomplete. Demetrius George got rocked after the deflection. Taking another look at it. That was rough. Fourth and ten. They're going to go for it. Out of field goal range. Ballard running around. He's sacked again. Back at the 48-yard line by Charles, the left end. See what the Vikings can do. Burton's going to get sacked, and that is DJ Payne. That's his fourth sack on the season. Nice play for the big defensive tackle. On third down, Red is way short of the first down, so the Toreros will get the ball back again. Ballard, deep shot right side. Who has he got? He's got Demetrius George inside the 30-yard line. His 26th reception on the season. First and 15 after a false start. Interception from Johnson, and that's actually the backup halfback. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's actually a right outside linebacker that they have playing as the backup halfback. So a right outside linebacker had a touchdown run earlier in the game, breaking all sorts of tackles. That is crazy. What a hit by Dylan Tong. Oh my. It's 41st tackle on the season. That was a vicious hit. Johnson going to throw it. Runs over a cornerback. Dylan Tong's there, but he misjudges the ball. And that is a nice catch for Red. First down, Vikings. They're going to go on the ground again. Johnson, he's in for the score. And the Vikings close the gap once again. We are all tied up at 14 apiece here in San Diego. Third and four for the Vikings. The Toreros went three and out. Burton, all day to throw it. Got a man wide open down inside the five. And that's a touchdown for Red. Oh, my goodness, a broken coverage. That was just terrible. 56-yard touchdown pass. And that was way too easy. San Diego's secondary is a little bit weak. We've got Dylan Tong and Isaac Price, but they don't have another safety or another corner. And this is not a good play. Doug Lay lets the kickoff bounce up over his head. They're at the one-yard line now, third and 11. Daryl Ballard rolling out far right side, taking a deep shot in double coverage. Demetrius George comes down with it. He's still going up past the 30, the 25, 20. 15-10, the crowd is going crazy as he's taken down at the 10-yard line with 47 seconds remaining in the first half. What a play. One of the best highlights of the season for the Toreros. Third and goal, incomplete pass. So the Toreros, after that crazy play, will have to settle for a field goal attempt. Kick is up and good. So it is 21-17 here in San Diego in the Pac-10 matchup as we head into the half. Vikings on top looking for their fifth win. Toreros also looking for their fifth win. Very close in yards so far. And turnovers. Robbie Ballard gets to carry up the middle to start things off. Only gets a couple yards. He's got 55 today on 13 rushes for one touchdown. Ballard rolling around. Right side deflected away. First and 10 now for the Vikings as the Toreros continue to go three and out several times today. Burton, nice completion out to Richardson, the number two receiver. Play action. Burton wide open again is red. They keep letting him go, and that's actually Richardson for the touchdown this time. Oh, my goodness. How do you cover their speed? I don't think you can. Again, just another easy play. Isaac Price gets absolutely torched. And he is a raw, talented cornerback, so he does not have the most speed. And Dylan Tong with another vicious hit on a running back. Just a simple check down. Dylan was having none of it. One of the hardest hitting safeties in the country. First and 10 for the Toreros. Robbie Bear gets loose and breaks the tackle. Still going up to the 44 yard line. 20 plus yard run for him. He'll get it again. Right up the middle following his fullback. Picks up 14 or 15 yards. He's eighth in the country for rushing yards with 1134. Daryl rolling far right side. Taking his sweet old time. Gets to the sideline. Gets past the defender. First down and more. All the way out of bounds inside the red zone. What a fantastic play. Tight roping on the sideline. Second and three. Option play. Daryl going to pitch it out late to Robbie. He's got the first down and gets taken down at the seven-yard line. Taylor throws it. Espinoza has the touchdown. Great pass. Great catch. 28-24 is now the score as the Toreros try to climb back into this one. 
Second and 14 for the Vikings. Johnson going to try to throw it off the toss, and Dylan Tong takes him down for his 44th tackle of the season. He now has seven for a loss. Quick pass right side to Johnson. The halfback, he's got the first down and more. Picks up about 32 yards on third down and 21. Awful coverage there. I don't know how you let the running back run free like that for so long. Burton going to throw again. Right side, Dylan Tong lays him out again. This time he's going to fumble it. That is Dylan Tong's second force fumble on the season. That was another vicious hit. Just a Dylan Tong highlight reel on defense today. Started off with Luke Moss, and it's been all Dylan Tong since then. Nice play by DJ Payne. He's been pretty good today. Three tackles, all for a loss and a sack. Doug Lay back to return the punt. His team is down by four points. He's got it at the 15-yard line, and he's going to fumble the football. It's recovered by the Vikings. Terrible. Two seconds left in the third quarter. Burton is going to be sacked. First career sack for Dylan Tong coming through on the safety blitz. That'll end the third quarter. Terrero is down four points to the 4-3 and three Portland State Vikings. Nice play out to Alford inside the 10-yard line down to the six. First and goal upcoming. And they are going to punch it in with a fullback, Gordon. And that is going to extend the lead to 11 points. Terrero's not giving up. What a juke move by Robbie Ballard. Runs over the safety. Still going all the way to the 41-yard line. Ten broken tackles today. Darrell going to throw it now. Deep shot right side. Demetrius George has another big play all the way down to the five-yard line in double coverage. Career day for him. Up over 125 receiving yards with a touchdown. First and goal from the five-yard line. Robbie Ballard gets the carry. He's going to walk in. That was way too easy. Just went off the left side of brick wall for the score. Head coach Dan Fouts wants to go for two points. And they are going to go for it here. They are 100% on the season. Robbie Ballard gets the carry. He's stuffed. And he fights his way in for the two-point conversion. So they remain perfect on two-point conversion attempts. 35-32 is the score. They're down by three. Quick pass, left side to Richardson, first down. Price continues to get beat. He just doesn't have the speed to compete with Red and Richardson. And another tackle for Tong, but that is going to be a face mask. First down all the way up to the 23-yard line now, but now third and 11. Burton, pressured, takes a shot, and that is dropped. Dylan Tong with a hit, and DJ Payne lays the quarterback out. I know that was actually Price that laid the hit that time. 41-yard field goal attempt to extend the lead to six points. That kick is right down the middle. So the Toreros just needing a touchdown here to take the lead at home in front of a half-full stadium. Demetrius George on the kick return from the 20-yard line. He's going to return it right side up past the 40-yard line. Great return up to the 45 and out of bounds. 38-32, folks. Going to be an exciting finish. Sykes with a nice catch. Picks up seven yards. Ballard playing pretty good today. He's going to continue to sling it. Goes deep down the right sideline. It's caught by Espinosa, who's been great today as well. All the way out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Just another fantastic throw. This is what I expected from Ballard all season. He's just had a rough time, though. Ballard going to throw again. Pump fakes into the end zone. Espinoza for another touchdown. Five consecutive completions for Daryl Ballard. And he's closing in on 2,000 passing yards for the year. And there was two receivers in the area right there. I'm not sure who that was intended for, but Espinoza brought it down. And the Toreros are going to take the lead here by one point with 320 remaining in the game. Third and ten for the Vikings. Burton going to have to rely on his arm, but he is sacked. He can't rely on his offensive line. DJ Payne with his second sack of the game. All four of his tackles today are for a loss. He now has five sacks on the season. And he about broke his ankle. So the Toreros get the ball back. Robbie Ballard going left side. Breaks the tackle in the open field. Robbie Ballard is going to take this the distance and extend the lead for the Toreros. What a run for Robbie Ballard. 66-yard touchdown on his third of the day. He now has 12 rushing touchdowns on the season. He also has two receiving touchdowns. So 14 total touchdowns for Robbie. And just a phenomenal year for him leading this offense. 46-38. The Vikings can still tie it up with a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Left side, Alford has it. Nice catch right over the hands of Price. 
Fantastic play all the way up to the 37-yard line of San Diego. Two minutes remaining in the game. Plenty of time for the Vikings to tie it up. Burton is going to be sacked again, though. This time it is Boom Johnson, only his second sack on the season. He hasn't been a major factor. That's only his eighth tackle on the year. Play action from Burton. He's hit as he throws. Connects to Hurd, though. The fourth-string receiver up to the 31-yard line. Third down. Burton, quick pass right side. First down. Dylan Tong gets the tackle. Tries to rip the ball out. First and 10 from the 26. Burton over the middle. McCray has it. Breaks the tackle down at the five-yard line. 11 hurries today. Four sacks for the Torero defense with an interception as well from Luke Moss. Huge play for the tight end, McCray. Setting his team up in great field position to tie this thing up, or at least have a chance to tie things up. Second goal from the four. Johnson gets the carry. He's taken down. That is Luke Moss's seventh tackle today. Five for a loss. Robbie Baylor gets player of the game. 203 yards, three touchdowns. Burton throws for 347. And he's going to throw again to the end zone. Deflected away by Jones, the safety. That's going to make it fourth and goal. The game is on the line. Who wants it more? The Vikings are hit. And that is DJ Payne, and that's an incomplete pass. The Toreros are going to take over on downs. Huge goal line stand for San Diego. My goodness. First and 10 from the five-yard line. Robbie Ballard just needs to get a first down here, and he has one up to the 20-yard line. He's averaging 9.8 yards per carry today. And that is the final. San Diego comes out on top 46-38 over the upset-minded Portland State Vikings, they drop to 4-4. Four and four. San Diego improves to 5-4, and four, and they still got a shot at the Pac-10 title. Robbie Ballard played outstanding to me today. Demetrius George was outstanding. Brick Wall, the left tackle, had a great game blocking. Boom Johnson came through, had a sack. DJ Payne had a couple sacks, a bunch of tackles for a loss. Luke Moss was all over the place. We didn't see any of Rob Roy today, the other middle linebacker who also played some tight end. Isaac Price had some big hits. Dylan Tong, of course, was just a hit stick machine in this game. 500 yards of offense for the Toreros. Pretty evenly matched. 268 throwing and 232 on the ground. Pretty much even for all the stats, actually. 22 points in the fourth quarter the Toreros had, and they were able to take the lead and didn't look back. Great goal line stand. It's nice to see some defenses performing well when they need to instead of just, you know, 100 to 95 every game is the final score. We have seen a couple 90-point games in this series. Of course, New Mexico against, I can't even remember, I think it was Southern Utah. That was just an abomination. And then North Dakota State scored 90-plus on Southeastern in a Big 12 matchup. But we haven't seen any since. Great game for Brickwall. He did allow one sack, but he now has 26 pancakes on the year. Four sacks allowed. Luke Moss, Dylan Tong, outstanding today. Luke Moss now has 39 tackles. Dylan Tong closing in on 50 for the year. Of course, nobody's going to catch Chris Major, the strong safety for the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. He is almost at 100 tackles. Interception for Luke Moss. That's his fourth on the year. I really like the Torero defense. They have it pretty balanced. Two defensive linemen, two linebackers, and two people in the secondary. But they definitely need more help in the secondary. As you saw today, they got torched a few times. Just due to the speed of the Viking receivers. Plays the game. Burton Johnson and Richardson. Ballard, George, and Ballard. 207 receiving yards today for Demetrius George. Career numbers and a touchdown. Our next Torero football game. They will be traveling to take on the doormat of the Pac-10, the Idaho State Bengals. That'll be a Week 12 matchup. Our next game, which will be out tomorrow, North Dakota State, 4-4 on the year, travels to take on McNeese State. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.